Hey guys, welcome back to Matsuri 2022. This is day two on the Sunday and we're gonna go some freaking sick laps out there today. My voice is a little bit gone, my body's a little bit gone. I'm not even putting sentences together properly, but um, man, it's been a big day yesterday. Keen as to have another big day today. Um, pretty much just jumping in that tandem lane and going with a bunch of freaking sick drivers and trying to learn as much from them as possible. It's, it's so much freaking fun. Um, got some a shitload of um, knowledge last night when I was able to go back to back when there's no one else out there just LS things you know it's freaking sick my fuel was like smoking it was that hot yeah you're gonna get back into it today and um, yeah do some sick lips I got do some sick laps I've got heaps more grip now and the car is performing really well so uh, see all you guys out there and um, yeah, hopefully it stays beautiful weather like this. It's actually like the nicest morning today. So um, if you're as pumped as me, hit the like button right now, drop a comment below at the end of the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, appreciate you guys for watching all these episodes and yeah, let's get right into it. there's any footage of it but I came out too wide in the dipper and before you know it it hit a freaking tire wall and it's really bad I'll show you right now it's Tell me, is it wake up in the air? Rappers scattered off the gear. I can map him, get yeah, the air. It's like a tracker, get distracted, send him back like in the mail. Not a fraction of them real. Catch him, let him run the drill. Bro. Running through the shit like a motherfucking day. Also, quick shout out to Ben for letting me share his pit base space with him. Freaking legend, eh? Absolute legend. This guy, mate, nice dude, eh? This car goes and goes and goes as well. Freaking sick. Pretty cool. It's got a sick interior and stuff. Um, but yeah, S13's here. Just an update on the car. Doing really good. I uh, haven't opened the bonnet yet. Plan on not opening it at all today. I've, um, I've been playing with tire pressures, as you can see, it's pretty low. I think it's on 20 PSI. And um, yeah, I've got so much grip. It's a bit dusty, eh? I might give it a bit of a wash or something. It's, it's dusty as. But yeah, everything's mint. I've got so much grip, I love it. Front wheels are good. Yeah, I don't know much else to say about the car other than it's freaking weapon. And it's just doing exactly what it needs to do. Also, the rear bar, I just use zip ties to fit it, like Xavier told me to. And it's, it works so much better because the zip ties can flex if you hit something or if you like, yeah, hit something. Um, it flexes and then it doesn't like snap the fiberglass. So yeah, zip ties are so much better. And this side came off, so I just put a new zip tie in. Happy days.
that was wild. Just went out for Xavier, did a couple of freaking sick laps. Absolutely insane. Like I was actually getting up on him pretty close because obviously he's got a nice pink paint job. It's pretty nice. Like he's done some damage to it obviously, but it's pretty nice. I don't want to like get too close. And um, up until today, we've always like gave each other heaps of room, but now he's comfortable, I'm comfortable. We're closing that gap in and it's so exciting, like so sick. And then that last one, he came up here and there's a tire barrier, like like this is the tire barrier. No shit, he must have been like this close to the back of his car and he just like shoo, issued out of it. Xavier, did you see it? It was right here. It was freaking. Is that the last one? Yeah. Yeah, that's when he's up uh, side to the Oh, second last one. Last one. Yeah, last one he came across here and then was off the track and I was like, holy oh, shit. I was like really close to him. Yeah, you, you were pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the closest I've seen to you. Yeah, it's as close as we've ever been. But like, it's, um, his line is like completely different from the line I normally take. He takes this like freaking sick, big angle, like full track line. The pro line. The pro, yeah. And I take like the faster line. Yeah. Because I've got more grip now as well. And like, I kind of cut the corner a little bit. And, but it's good because I can catch up to him. And like, yeah. It's bloody hot. It's nice to have a little break, but let's get back out there. Yeah. Do it all again. Right, if you're new here, this is my S13 LS1. Does a thing. We got the Go man dog. Kyle's in What's here. Up? He's coming out for a run with his finally. expensive camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally, dude. Out Matt Sue. Yep. How sick. I know. It's and it's dry, there's no rain. Yeah. But I reckon it's gonna rain, but it will. Yeah. At some stage. But we're about to go out. Um, I'll put the camera facing us so you can see his reaction. Should be good. LS. LS goes pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm keen to do a few more laps. Let's go. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Yeah.
Gabby goes, someone hit the tires. I was like, oh, that sucks. And I'm like, oh, that's James. <laughs> there's any footage of it but I came out too wide in the dipper and before you know it it hit a freaking tire wall and it's really bad I'll show you right now it's fucked like it's proper bad and you can see exactly where the tires are hit luckily I didn't get a tire come through and hit me in the head or anything I don't know how that happened but yeah it's fucked I'm not looking I'm not you can't actually open the door right now and I'm not opening it to check this V pillar because I don't want to see the damage. I can imagine that that's pushed in as well. I don't think that would be strong enough. There is a roll cage here to help. Uh, I'm not going to even look in there. I'll look at it later when we get home. But anyway, if that wasn't bad enough, I get, I pull in and I'm like fucking pissed off. So mad, but it was my own fault. I went too, too deep. Um, the only thing is if there was no tires there, obviously my car would be fine. And then well, I come in, I have a look out, and everyone's like, dude, you got so lucky, it's right in the center on the door, the tires are sweet. So that's good on like happy days. I was freaking banging out there to do a couple of sick laps, and it was great. And then I'm, I'm going around again. Mind you, I haven't really come close to the tires the whole time. I'm coming around, I hit another freaking tire straight in the front corner here. Like, are you fucking serious, man? And so this guard, the car was pushed up under there, it was tucked in the wheel, but luckily, the positive side of this is that that's the metal side, and this guard's actually fiberglass, so if it was that side, it would be just destroyed. I mean, they're both shit, it doesn't matter which side it hit, but this guard's a complete write-off. I'm just going to bend it out a bit, and then should be able to drive it. Oh no, me light, me LED light. Rip the wires out, mate. I'm just gonna tidy this up a bit. Hopefully, um, hopefully I don't have to pop the bonnet because that's the challenge I was doing. I was trying not to pop the bonnet. The bonnet's actually bent as well. Back. Yeah, it's an expensive two crashes, that's for sure. But we got some more time of the day. I'm definitely gonna change these tires over and go back out and do some more skids. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty shit. I'm pretty mad. Like. Fucking tired thing, man. I've been going on about it. I've been trying not to focus on it, but then, of course, I hit the fucking tires. I have to beep out all these F words, but anyway, it is what it is. Change these tires, do some more skins. Let's go.